This is what you've been waiting for. It's finally here. Cricut Design Space Offline. So you can see here that there's a choice for offline setup. I tap the down arrow. So what it's doing is it's now downloading the database. And you can see here that it should take just over three gigabytes of disk space. And you can see that the circle is spinning and it's downloading the database. So this looks like it's going to take a little while. I'm going to stop recording and resume once it's done. The download is just finishing up. So it's syncing the database now. Okay, so it has finished downloading and syncing, and you can see it says that offline setup is completed now. Once you've downloaded the database, you can choose whether you want to use the cloud version of the database or your local version, which is on your iPad or phone, whichever device you're using. So I want to use my local version. What I want to do now is I'm going to go out of here and I'm going to go into my settings. I'm going to turn on airplane mode and then I'll go back to design space. You can see up in the top left corner that I am in airplane mode. You can see also that when you start up design space, if you're offline, it shows you an indication of that across the top, that green line saying you are offline. So now to insert an image, I'll just tap insert image. Here's a bunch of designs that are available to me. I can just scroll through them all and find what I want. I can use the search functions, but for now, I'm just going to show you that I can actually cut something from here. Uh, I have seen a cute little frame before this one here. So I'm going to tap this one. I'm going to put it onto my screen. There it is. And I'm going to make this a little bit larger. So that's what it's nine centimeters by seven. So that's fine. And I'm going to send that to my mat. Now I'm going to connect my camera and show you that it's actually going to cut from here. But before I do that, I just want to say that for all of you who keep asking if this is available with the expression, because I always see those comments on these types of videos or images that we show you. No, this is not available with the expression. If you want to be able to use your iPhone or an iPad, an Android device to be able to control your images and design and cut and create all these wonderful projects, you need to upgrade to the Explore. The expression is just not capable of these types of functions. It's an older technology and they're just not able to do these things. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tap go and it's going to start flashing on my machine when it's ready to cut. And then I'm going to load the material on my mat and cut it out. It's ready to go. So this has loaded the image offline and it's totally cutting offline. There's no computer involved in this at all. Once you finish cutting your design, you can save your project and then it will be available to me whether I'm online or offline. So I hope this has been helpful to you to understand how this is working. Thanks so much for watching.